I'm so tap tap, and it's been a while since I did a little podcast, whatever thing, about important issues in gaming, but this has been an issue I wanted to talk about before, but uh, kind of became the emblematic issue of gaming in 2017. And with 2017 ending, I wanted to have a pretty clear, explicit implication. I want you to help me make 2018 the year that loot boxes die. Maybe not in free-to-play games, but in full-price AAA games. There's no excuse for this crap. Everybody's probably already aware of the Starfront, Star, <laughs> Starfront Battle Wars 2. Um, Star Wars Battlefront 2 loot box situation. If you're not, it's way too big to get into. Um, like, even just a quick summary, just extremely exploitative loot boxes sold to children in a series very popular with children. Uh, in a teen-rated game, no less. Um, just trying to basically... Darth Vader, you had to grind for, like, 70-plus hours, I think, to get Darth Vader. Um, and that's without paying money, and the amount of money you need to pay, I'm not sure how much it was, but it was a lot. It was, like, more than the price of a full game. So at least on average loot box it was it was horrible anyway loot boxes are awful garbage uh there's no arguing that point in my opinion some people try to pull some defenses uh they're all just bullshit frankly all right so let me tell you a story about what should be the purest most innocent loot box story you ever did hear oh goodness so uh, a friend of mine is a huge fan of the xenoblades and just the whole xeno series the gears the sagas the blades all of the xenos uh, so he gets Xenoblade 2, and he really liked it. And the one thing he really wanted, so it's got a loot box system, but you can't pay for it. So obviously it's a good, it's not an exploitative system if you can't pay for it, right? Um, well, I'm not sure if exploitative is the right word, but it was definitely awful. Because see what happened is he wanted Cosmos. Because I mean, Cosmos, she's everybody's favorite character from pretty much any of the Xeno series, but especially Xeno Saga, um, one of the most recognizable characters and blah, blah, blah. And, um, so he wanted to get her, but she's one of the rare blades. And you gotta, you know, it's like that fate go crap where you gotta do a loot box. And you get your stuff, and, um, so there's this thing that loot boxes can do, but they usually don't. We remove duplicates from the pool. Um, Xenoblade 2 removes duplicates, but only from the rare pool. So you can still get common ones, even when you're trying to get a rare one. So what happened is he beat the game. Played it for over 100 hours. No Cosmos. Played it for another 10 hours. No Cosmos. Completed all the side stuff. No Cosmos. Um, I don't know if he ever got his Cosmos, but he was at the point where he had literally nothing to do. Even if he got her, he would just be grinding against trash mobs that he could beat with like his pinky finger while it's, you know, cut off and put in a box. Just his pinky finger would just kill everything in the game because he's level 18 billion and so on. And he still didn't have Cosmos. And you know what? That's what happens with loot box stuff. Uh, it is possible to make loot boxes less awful. Um, in fact, it would be pretty simple. The simplest thing you can do is simply remove duplicates from the pool immediately. Um, that, that becomes... Like, that goes from being exploitive gambling garbage to just like, oh... You know, there's 10 things to get, and you're gonna get all of those 10 things. You just don't know what order you're gonna get them in. That, in my opinion, is fun. That is fine. That is a fine way to go about things, but they're never, they never do that. They never do. Even when it's free, even when you can't pay for the Gashapon, they don't do that. I don't understand that. That is such a simple fix to make things so much less bad. Um, but generally speaking, loot boxes don't want to be less bad. Um, which brings us to the paid loot boxes, like Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, they, they, they have a vested interest in them being bad. See, EA tried to be like, oh, we, we accidentally ran some numbers, and oh, and we didn't think it'd be that expensive, and oh, goodness, we made a mistake. But they didn't make a mistake, because this is a company called EA, and they have entire teams of highly paid people uh, with a specific task to make the monetization as lucrative as possible. They have people that are experts in free-to-play games and psych human psychology and gambling, and what they want to do is take a bunch of dumb teenagers, sorry teenagers, who love Star Wars and are a little bit susceptible to gambling. What they want to do is lure those kids in like, hey kids, Star Wars, get in the van. 
And then you get in the van and there's a slot machine. And they're like, hey kids, you wanna own those noobs online, don't you? All you gotta do is put your parents' credit card right in that slot machine and maybe you'll get a good sniper rifle. And so, there we have Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's awful. And it is hardly the only awful game. EA's entire library, well not entire, probably, um, but <laughs> EA's major library this year has consisted of tons of loot box garbage. Um, not just Battlefront 2, also the new Need for Speed and the UFC, I think UFC 3, um, they have basically the same thing, and possibly worse. The UFC implementation sounded significantly worse than even um, the Star Wars one, but it's less popular than Star Wars, obviously, so it made less of a fuss. But it was all bad. It was all really bad. And, yeah. What you gotta not buy it. I don't mean don't buy the loot boxes. I mean don't buy the game. Because you see, EA learned a pretty harsh lesson with this loop with uh, Battlefront 2 because the sales dropped like crap and they had to pull the loot boxes entirely. They're probably going to put those loot boxes in back. And if you have Battlefront 2, do not buy those loot boxes when they put them back in either. You can't do that. See, for us to make 2018 the year where loot boxes die, all you got to do is look at a game with loot boxes and be like, no, nah, not gonna buy that. Because you know what? There is so much good shit out there. There is so much to play. Even if you only played free games that released the year that you're playing them, you would never run out of stuff to play. There is so much stuff, even AAA stuff in 2018 or 17 that was fantastic. No loot boxes, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, Mario Odyssey, Zelda Breath of the Wild, if you ignore the Amiibo stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't play, I, the Amiibo stuff is kind of a black mark on Breath of the Wild, but I don't think most people bothered with it. It was bad though, I have to go on record and say that. Um, there was Rhyme, Owlboy, Legend of Dark Witch 3, Night in the Woods, um, just so much fantastic stuff this year. And there's so much fantastic stuff from other years. Um, you know, there's new Doom, there's the new Wolfenstein, uh, the... You would never, ever want for games, even if you said never going to buy a game with a loot box. Even if you didn't buy games with free loot boxes. Um, you know, stuff like the Xenoblade 2, which I don't think is quite worth a boycott. But I do think that is a terrible gameplay mechanic that should not be in any game. It's just bad. Um, so yeah, the, the thing is, companies like EA, they're going to do exploitative stuff until they get away with it. Until they stop getting away with it. So... All you can do, complaining helps, but what you really got to do is not buy the game. You really got to not buy it. And I, I have to include the Call of Duties in this too, because Call of Duty has this new thing where, oh, if you're near somebody when they open a loot box, you get free things, right? And everyone's like, oh, how could you possibly complain about getting free stuff? Well, because it's not really them giving you free stuff. It's them giving you an advertisement for loot boxes. See, what they're doing is they want you to gather up in the back alley where your friend is pulling the slot machine lever and he gets a bunch of quarters and Mr. Uh, Activision Man throws a dirty penny that he pulls out of his asshole, throws it in your face. He's like, hey kid, you watched a loot box get open. Have your, have your trash. If you want actual good stuff, this guy just got a sniper rifle. You just got a butt penny. This guy, sniper rifle. Maybe if you paid us five bucks, you would have got a sniper rifle, you stupid idiot. I'm sorry. That's what they're saying to you. When you get that free crap in Call of Duty for watching somebody open loot box, they're just giving you butt pennies. I'm sorry. They're butt pennies. They just want you to go and buy the loot box. It's not free stuff. It's an ad for loot boxes. It's an ad for exploitative gambling. Targeted for kids. And... And Battlefront is targeting kids even worse than most stuff. Like, everybody knows that 12-year-olds play Call of Duty, right? But <laughs> Battlefront 2 is for T rated T for teens. So, you know, you have 13-year-olds, you know, justifiably being able to play it. And this they might get, they might get legislated. Um, personally, I would rather loot boxes die simply because players are completely outraged and would never spend their money. Um, but if, if they get regulated out of existence, I'm totally fine with that, too. Uh, I would support any effort to do that. Uh, I'm generally not in favor of, you know, government plus video game plus reg like regulation 
Hasn't really worked out too well in the past, but even if they're overreaching in terms of loot boxes, like, oh no, loot boxes are completely banned. Oh goodness, don't ban those. Oh no, whatever will I do? I guess I'll have to play good games instead. Like, <laughs> what are they gonna do? Um, I, I, I kind of hope it doesn't happen, but I kind of hope it does happen because screw that. Like, ideally, just the, the loot boxes have to stop. That's, that's frankly all I really care about. Um, I don't care if a big company like EA has to have some kind of great fall because they put all of their loot boxes and stuff and loot boxes suddenly die out. Um, I don't care if sales just decline overall and people realize, oh, if we didn't put loot boxes in, that wouldn't have happened. I don't care if legislation happens. But loot boxes have to die. You and I, we can make it so that 2018 is the year loot boxes die. The number one thing you gotta do is when a game has loot boxes, just don't buy it. Just don't buy it. If you can pay money for items in game with a random chance, don't buy it. And see, randomness is supposed to be fun, right? I don't generally find random stuff fun. Um, but a good example of randomness is Binding of Isaac. Sometimes I get frustrated with it, but the thing about Binding of Isaac's randomness is that you can overcome it with skill. There's absolutely no element of skill in loot boxes. You just get stuff. And sometimes it's really good, sometimes it is butt pennies. And it's usually the butt pennies. So, just, ugh. Like, you, you can't outskill a loot box. Loot boxes are like playing with a secret character every time in Binding of Isaac. You're always gonna lose. Because even if you win a run as the lost, you played as the lost. So you, you lost. You lost the game because you had to do that. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Some people even played the Keeper. I haven't played the Keeper. But from what I've heard of the Keeper, you lose even harder. Parker decided it was time to stop recording and smacked the space bar with his tail. Thank you, Parker. Anyway, I think I pretty much made my point. Please don't buy loot boxes. We can end this exploitative garbage. You and I. We can do this. Just don't buy it. Don't buy the Destiny 2s. Don't buy the Destiny 3s. Don't buy EA's Happy Fun Slot Machine Hellscape. Buy good games. If you need examples of good games, I play stuff all the time on this channel. A wide variety of stuff. You know, you don't have to have heard of a game. A lot of people buy these games because, oh, it's EA games. It's got to be good because they're popular and a lot of people have heard of it. You know what? If having heard of a game makes it a good game, I streamed Zelda uh, the other day. I streamed Ocarina of Time. Somebody in the chat never heard of it. Obviously, that means it's a bad game, right? Ocarina of Time, officially a bad game. Because somebody hadn't heard of it. Now, see, people need a major attitude adjustment on that. When you hear of somebody talking about uh, something that they liked that you hadn't heard of, you're like, oh, I have not heard of this before. Please put into my life this goodness that I have been missing. You not having heard of something means that you might just discover a beautiful delight without paying for a loot box. So... When there's a cool new game that you haven't heard of, go check that out. Don't be like, er, I haven't heard of this Zelda character. It must be bad. You know, that's, that's just going to make, that just makes life worse for you. So just because it's made by EA doesn't make it good. Quite the opposite, frankly. Um, just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean it's not worth checking out. This is the age of YouTube and Steam Returns. Um, you can watch a video of the game and see if it looks good. And you can play the game for up to two hours. And if it's not good, you can return it. There you go. Don't buy loot boxes. Don't buy loot box games. Don't even talk about them. Just, just refuse to engage with anything loot boxy. It's just not worth it. All right, one final point, since I know somebody's gonna bring it up because somebody always brings it up. People always bring up the same terrible, terrible defenses of loot boxes. Every time it is disgusting. You guys need to stop it. Anyway. People always bring up the, oh, it's just cosmetic. If it's, if it's cosmetic, it's fine. Here's the thing about video games. They're video games. What do you do in Zelda? You get all of the things and beat the game, and then what you do is you go get all of the other things you missed. Uh, there's entire genres named entirely like this. Collectathons, Donkey Kong 64. The entire gameplay is getting all of the things. Super Mario 64, what do you do? You get all of the things. Super Mario Odyssey just released that this year. You get all the things. That is the game. The game is to get all of the things. There is no such thing as only cosmetic 
in a video game because getting all of the cosmetic things is gameplay. Collection is gameplay. So no, your your the freaking Overwatch stuff is not good loot boxes. I'm sorry, it's not. With its seasonal events and crap and you know, limited time windows to pay real money to get digital stuff, no. It is not. Overwatch is a bad example. I'm sorry. It's less bad than Battlefront 2, but it's still really bad, and there's no such thing as cosmetic in a video game. Because if you can collect all of the things, people have a drive to get all of the things. We've been trained to get all of the things. We like getting all of the things. There's nothing wrong with getting all of the things. But when you try to monetize nickel and dime that getting all of the things, that's evil. Straight up, that's evil. Don't buy loot box games. There's other games. You don't have to play that game. You can play other games. Really good games that you're missing out because you're wasting your time grinding for loot boxes. You could be playing good stuff. Treat yourself to an actually good game in 2018. Just say no to loot boxes. They're garbage and they hate you. That's the other thing about loot box design. Loot box design is designed by people who hate you. They don't want you to have fun. They want you to keep spending money they want you to never leave, but they don't want you having too much fun. Because if you're having too much fun, you're not going to pay. You pay when you're like, dang, I want to enjoy this game, but I can't. I guess I got to pay money. Lootbox Design specifically wants you to not have fun. That has no place in video games. That is bullshit. That has absolutely no place in video games. And as consumers, we have to give them no quarter. That's why, as I've said like 10 times, just don't buy the loot box games. Don't make excuses. Don't compare them to Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards are kind of gross anyway. They kind of are exploitative. So that's that's a whole other issue. But don't bring them up. All explanations for loot boxes, they're all bad. They're all bullshit. Don't defend them. Don't buy them. Have a better 2018 without loot boxes. At all. Even cosmetics.